off to Denver to meet a dog photographer I found on TikTok. Come with me. It is so cold. <laughs> Uh, so I met Ryan, actually found him through TikTok and then messaged him on Facebook and said, your business model is so fascinating. I bet my followers will love to learn more about this style too. And he said, sure. Here we are inside Fetch Photo Truck. Yes, with Ryan. Scooch over a little bit, Ryan. Yes. With Ryan. Uh, his dog, Henry, is gonna join us in a little bit, but Henry is very rambunctious. Yeah, sure he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we thought we'd give him a break from being on camera uh, for now. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is amazing. We are sitting in your studio. Yes. Yeah, welcome How to- How cool. Yeah, welcome, welcome to Fetch. So, this is a mobile uh, fine art portrait studio that comes to people's homes and uh, yeah, does fancy fancy photos of, of pups. Um, it's something that's pretty fresh for me. I've been in the wedding and portrait photography world for 15 years now. Oh, wow. And uh, just within the last nine months, um, yeah, kind of created Fetch and the idea of photographing dogs. Um, it was something that evolved kind of in the COVID area. I'm sure a lot of people have adapted over these last last two years. And when in the wedding and portrait world, we weren't able to do our jobs mm -hmm. legally, um, that kind of forced me into thinking like, hey, what else can I be doing? And uh, with my experience and skills in photography, um, I was at a barbecue at a friend's house, her and her fiance and our dogs are playing in their backyard and we're talking about how much we love, love our pups and how much money we spend on them and they're like our kids and kind of all of, all of that stuff, um, like many Coloradans. That's kind of where the idea sparked is like, hey, how can I, what does like photographing dogs look like? Mm. I had done a fundraiser through the studio that I, that I work for, the wedding photography studio, where people um, uh, bring in their dogs and we did like fancy photos and it was a fundraiser for a uh, local rescue kind of kind of thing. And it was a huge hit. Um, at the time, my other dog, um, that's where I'd gotten uh, Louie from. And yeah, it was a big, big hit on social media. Everybody loved it, but it didn't quite fit the business model of the studio that I was with. So it, it wasn't something that I pursued. But at that barbecue, I had kind of called back to that like excitement of how much people love their dogs and are invest in their dogs kind of thing. And this was like, all right, what would it look like for me to do photos just of dogs? So I'm you're sure. wedding photographer and portrait photographer now. So you know your way around cameras, all of that, yep. right? So you've got, you've got that background already. And so a lot, I was telling you before we hit record, <laughs> is that a lot of the people who follow this channel, hey everybody, yeah. are just now starting up their pet mm -hmm. photography business or thinking about it. And I bet many people never considered in a truck. Yeah. Oh my gosh, when I saw you on TikTok, mm -hmm. of all things, I'm like, oh, he made it happen. Yeah. So exciting. What made you decide to do it this way? Yeah, so once I explored, like going on, all right, dog photography, the process yeah. was like, all right, there's plenty of amazing dog portrait photographers in Colorado who do like natural light, more like lifestyle, um, which I, I love. Um, but because I was trying to figure out how to supplement, you know, me still photographing weddings through mm. throughout the year. So like May through October, I'm busy photographing weddings. Yeah. Um, you know, what else can I do to avoid those kind of limitations as lifestyle photographers experience like outside, right? It's like, all right, we got to shoot at sunset, right? So we got to mm -hmm. shoot during golden hour, you know, get everybody meet at the park. Um, you know, weather is an issue in Colorado. Sometimes it's, it's too cold or it's, it's, huh. it's windy or it's rainy, like all those kind of challenges, right? With this mobile aspect, it can be January and 30 degrees outside or uh -huh. 20 degrees like it is right now. It is um, cold. Or it could be August and 100 degrees. Uh, it's heated and air conditioned in here. Um, and with that, that's why I really went down the road of like just focusing on studio lighting. Instead of broadcasting and attracting all different genres of types of like dog photography type thing, like I just want to specialize in one thing. This is still kind of just like a side hustle. For me, I'm like, all right, I'm going to specialize and just choose one style and that's studio um, dog photography. So instead of renting a studio space though, you decided mm -hmm. on this. How did you figure out how to do this? Yeah, it's a good question. I think, I don't think this idea would have happened two years ago 
five five mm -hmm. years ago. I think mobile services, services that come to people's home with Amazon Prime and Instacart and all the services that we value, paying a little bit extra for mm -hmm. to have come to our door so we're not getting into our cars and driving across town and all that hassle. Um, I think that energy, that's kind of what spawned this of even thinking about a mobile okay. mobile trailer. So um, the other thing too, I mean, as you'll meet Henry, he's kind of wild and, and crazy pup, <laughs> right? A lot of dogs I've learned don't do well in, in car rides, you right. know? So to ask a client like, hey, yeah, get in a car, drive uh, 45 minutes across town up into the into the foothills. By the time you get with them, they're stressed out. Yeah. You know, the owners are stressed out because they're barking the whole time and our dogs feed off of our energy, right? So if I show up to somebody's home and they're just like greeting me out their, their front door, they're more relaxed, the dogs are more relaxed. Throughout the session, if like, oh, I forgot his like favorite toy, we'll go, go run back inside and, and get it kind of thing. We're, we're right here. The other kind of idea that I had that was important to me is to create like a full experience the same day. So oh. what's special is I show up to people's homes, um, you know, half an hour, 40 minutes, uh, doing the session for one dog, sometimes longer, um, for, for more pups kind of thing. Then they go back inside and I edit the photos on the spot and do a same day sales session. Oh, so I love it. Um, you see projection screen there, projectors mounted oh. in the corner. I, in Lightroom, I'm doing a quick call, crop and edit. I have like kind of base preset that, that I apply. Um, and then they come back in and see the photos and I help them order that day. That's kind of the whole yeah. process is to create like that, um, that kind of instant gratification that we've become kind of used to again, back to like Amazon prime, right? People don't want to wait a week for their goods. They, right. they'll pay that extra bit to have it in the next day or the, or the following day kind of, kind of thing. And then when the, you hand deliver their order then, or you mm -hmm. have it drop shipped or yeah, drop shipped. Drop shipped. Yep. I use yeah. Miller's uh, currently. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. And so people have really loved this model then. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's working, you know, um, August uh, 2021 is when I would say it really got up and running. That's when like the air conditioner was installed and had like all of this kind of flushed out. Um, so yeah, in, in four months, uh, I had I think 30, 30 clients, which Ooh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with. That's like, awesome. Um, if you look me up right now, my website isn't even live yet. Right? Like, I, I noticed that. Yeah, I'm like, like, how are you doing this? Fetchphototruck.com, like coming soon kind of thing, right? So <laughs> yeah. hopefully that's going to be up in the next three weeks or so but that was kind of encouraging. It's such a wild and crazy idea. Like, yeah, this guy shows up to your house and does fancy photos and get artwork and stuff kind of thing. It's a, enough of like a viral thing that people are like kind of excited to, yeah. to share. I think really what we've tapped into being dog photographers is it's a way to help dog owners acknowledge the love for, for their yeah. dogs, right? Yeah. Um, my typical client is, um, you know, late 20s, 30 something, couple with like no kids uh -huh. and their dogs are their kids yeah right can we show this picture of henry yes. your dog i just love this picture and i was looking at it online my husband and i and he's like oh my gosh that's got to be even more stunning in person uh, so for all of you sitting at home trust us it's even more stunning in person look at this so what size is this this is what 16 by 20 print with matted and framed yep, okay matted and framed. Uh, yep. so isn't that gorgeous and it fits in here so nicely this trailer actually is a good sales tool because a lot of people think like oh i want a big print i want an eight by ten i'm like okay oh sure here's what an eight by ten i know like, i'm right? gonna go or, grab it i'm gonna grab um, your eight by ten you know or even when they think like oh 20 by 30 canvas that sounds huge I'm it's like, not. you're in a tiny home essentially right now. And we'll yeah. show you in a little bit what a 20 by 30 canvas looks on my wall. It doesn't look obnoxious or, or huge. Yeah, yeah this, this photo with, with Henry is honestly one of my test shots before the studio oh. was even done. Tell us like what's, what's been your biggest surprise or challenge with this? If someone decides, maybe I'll try that in my town. What's been the biggest challenge? You know, really it's been um, time management, honestly. Oh. You know, beyond like logistics of the, the trailer and, you know, building it out to be accommodating and feel like a home when people come into it and figuring out the track system and all that stuff. Like you can figure that out. There's so much resource on YouTube, yeah. you know, thanks to you as, as well. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll be showing all this too. Right? Yeah. It's managing that, that time, how much to do of yourself, whether it's doing your own editing. That was a decision I made pretty early on to outsource my editing. I worked hard oh. to find an editor. I've got an editor in Melbourne. So yeah. I've worked really hard on valuing kind of time time over money or just realizing how important you know and valuable our time time is so any kind of action that that i make 
um, if it's going to save me save me time and open up towards just having a personal life or putting my energy into networking with other business owners and getting new work versus me being on the computer for an hour editing a session. Yes, it saves you that money, but I'm, I've learned pretty quick that it's best to like pay another professional to do what they're good at um, if that opens up your time to grow the business. Ooh, I love it. And I think that applies to all of us. I love yeah. how you've really thought through every step and all the time that you spend. That's okay. so valuable. And so let's move on a little bit to like, I want to show the gear and give like an idea of size. How wide is yeah. this, Ryan? Yeah. Uh, Six feet? Seven feet wide. Oh, seven. Okay. Um, just over seven feet tall. It was important for me. This is an extended height trailer. Most okay. trailers like this, I'm 6'2". Um, I would just be like scraping mm. the ceiling. So it was important for when people stepped into this space that they were like, whoa, this is not what I was expecting. I wanted to kind of feel yeah. feel like a home. You know, it almost feels like a baby's nursery or something. Kind of, I know, that's kind of thing, I felt right? spacious yeah. when I walked in. Uh -huh. And I've been in a lot of trailers uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> uh, for camping. There's a photographer in Canada who's essentially doing the same idea as, as me. Okay. Um, and when I had the idea of the mobile trailer, of course I was Googling just to see, hey, has anybody else had this idea? Yeah. And as far as I can tell, I mean, they're not advertising. Nobody else in the country wow. is doing mobile, like at home, you know, studio photography kind, wow. of, kind of thing. Um, but Beth Alexander in, in Canada, um, uh, she has a very similar trailer and I reached out to her and she kind of gave me some of the tips. And nice. one of those big tips was having a stage. I didn't think okay. that that would be until afterwards, the realization, it kind of keeps the dogs once you get them up here and it's nice and cozy. I mean, there's different layers yeah, of cushioning thick, and, yeah. and stuff um, that it feels like they're up on the couch, but wow. that allows, it keeps them from like running all over the place. Okay. Right. And I also thought like, oh, is this just going to be too small and yeah. you know, all of that. But as you saw that photo of four Great Danes, they all, that was one wow. photo, all one shot. There was no photo It was all one shot. Four, you know, hundred plus pound oh great, great Danes on, on here. One thing that I was thinking though, with this mm -hmm. platform, don't you, do you ever have owners that like, you, they just kind of need to be on a leash? Dogs up and down, up and down. Do you ever do that? Yeah. So and do they like stand like over here? That That's exactly it. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm working with them. I start out the session with all of us seating down like this the dog okay. comes up here and just like let them get settled so it okay. feels like hey we're at home on the couch kind of yeah kind of thing right then i tuck the owner kind of in that corner ah, okay. with treats get in the corner um <laughs> and i have them kind of stand you know like sit super oh back on here okay them. because yeah. yeah you're right otherwise if they're standing most dogs instinct is to like join you it's kind get of a you. weird yeah yeah, yeah. exactly okay so, so let me uh let me grab the gopro and we yeah. can just kind of okay. point people to what you got going here Oh, we can put we can put Henry yeah. back in his little spot. Yay! As far as equipment, let's. I guess we can start. Is this your main? Uh, yes. This is your main. Yep. So let's start with your main light. Yep, main light. So I shoot uh, the Godox. Was it the new eighty three hundred Pros? Um, it was okay. really important for me to have minimal cords. I didn't want things to be tripped tripped on and, okay. and all that. So yeah, these are all battery um, flashes. Um, then oh this uh, is battery run yeah these are all oh, batteries. so this cord is to something else oh yeah so that's for oh. the the led light oh that's for the light that yep. was for the, so, yeah. so this is battery and it's up on the this yeah so whatever that's what called do, i forget what the, they call these things but yeah i wanted to be able to raise okay. and lower awesome. um the light and then also for travel i need to have these all the way up so Ooh, you can kind of okay. see all these little dings is when i learned Ah. Um, by not uh, securing these, these just slap, <laughs> slap on oh, the road. Goodness. So do oh. for a, do for a fresh paint paint job in inside. Okay, um, and then you've got just a dome on here. So this is a regular flash, yep. not LED. People Correct. ask me about LED all the time. Yeah, I thought when I first started that. Um, like, ooh, I'm worried about flashes distracting the dogs. Yeah. I thought that was going to be an issue. Yep. Um, but when I chatted with some other pet photographers, like, no, to freeze the action and to shoot at the the depth that you need, I thought when I first started, I was like, oh, I can shoot at 2.8 the whole time kind of uh -huh. thing. But when you shoot at 2.8, their <laughs> snout is in focus, but here is out of focus or... Yeah, it's just like really challenging. Exactly. So unless you have a really still dog, I shoot at F13 by default. Do I go okay. straight to F13 nice. for, for all this just to kind of have that, that freaking dose. But with that, you need so much light yeah. to, to come out, right? So if you had LED continuous lights, it would have to be so distractingly bright yeah. in here that it just wouldn't just it wouldn't would, Their sense. eyes would hurt. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, the trick is with the flashes, you know, we get them up on stage and, you know, have, if they're treat rewarded, you know, we'll have a flash go off, give them a treat, flash go off, give them a treat. 
So they associate the flash gotcha. with, with that. Um, okay, that's pretty much what I do too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is your main. Yep. And then you got a beauty dish for Phil. Yeah, and I, don't, I can't tell you exactly why I did a beauty dish. I was just okay. thinking a different quality mm -hmm. of light, a little bit more specific. But honestly, sometimes, you know, if the dog is orient themselves this way or that way, I'll just shift the power. And sometimes this becomes my main, oh, okay. my main okay. light. Sometimes we don't have that control of the dog always facing exactly where you where you want them to, to be, right? But I would think this is a smaller uh, footprint, yeah. I guess, air print. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that was definitely one so of the considerations. Kind of nice. I've done a ton of research on making sure to make best use of the, the space. This is probably, what, less than 18 inches or so deep. Um, and you put another 80? Yeah, these are all, here? yeah, all 8300s here okay. and here. Um, I started out just with like the small Godox flashes. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But what I've learned just for the recycle time, especially for like really, uh, you know, uh, throwing a treat to the dog and them catching it, doing that rapid fire. Yeah. Like, those guys just couldn't recycle as they much. They can't, no. Um, so yeah, but that's kind of my uh, fur light, I guess, instead of a hair light, it's a fur, <laughs> fur light. Um, okay, so you still there. utilize that just for the, yeah. the hair. Mm -hmm. And then you, do you use this one all the time also? Yeah, um, I kind of kind of like the, the way that it brings the shine to their coats. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I'll actually make this the, the main light and it kind of, depending on the dog's, uh, you know, fur coat, um, kind of brings like more of a drama, drama to it. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to surround them with light so that given the dog's, you know, size or what they're, what they're doing, what orientation I want, I can kind of change the power wherever I need it, need it to. Yeah. Um, the LED that we're using for this video, do you utilize that too? Yeah, so that is for focus. So I shoot ah. Sony um, A7 III. Uh, can't wait to get the new A7 IV, hopefully. Um, but uh, yeah, you need like light to be able to grab onto focus, right? Okay. So, so you even, never turn on the modeling lights. Yeah, even with the modeling, okay. I don't think that would be enough light, especially with darker dogs, yeah. trying to lock onto those eyes. So. Um, yeah, I needed a nice bright light um, to, to lock razor focus. That makes sense. Okay, okay. And I love the homey feel. Yeah, that was really yeah. important for me that it just that people could just tell um, that I went the extra extra mile. Yeah. Um, this was a trick that it's a baby gate. Oh. So during the summertime, um, oh, oh, oh. you know, I can have this uh, open so that people can still be in here, dogs can still be in here, but we can have the door, the door open. Gotcha. Okay, now here's the other end. <laughs> quick, quick 360 here. Um, yeah, so once the session is done with, they come, um, you know, pile in here, have nice cozy seating with flush pillows, music's playing, um, and then uh, just behind you, uh, Projection screen is up. Usually projector is mounted right here. Um, uh -huh. They're nice and cozy here. And I usually kind of sit sit down here, usually kind of hanging out with the pups um, and they get to see the photos. And I love how you have all these up above here too. People yep. can see them, touch them. Yep, gotta have yeah. examples. Yep. Um, again, another beauty for being like at their home when they say like, oh, I don't, I don't, I think we need an eight by 10. That's probably going to be too big if we go up 11 by 14. I'm like, well, great. Let's go inside let's and take it let's, in. go for the, let's go see how, what a 16 by 20 looks like That's kind of awesome. thing, right? Currently I just offer canvas and framed, framed print and loose, loose prints. I try to keep it as simple as possible. All right. So he went to go get Henry, his dog, and we're going to do a photo shoot, a treat shoot right here. Uh, obviously, he's only got the one flash. The other flashes aren't quite set up. So uh, here we go. Hi. Like, are we working now? So then, yeah, a lot of times uh, I have the, the dog owner just kind of seated in the corner, corner there again, just to kind of anchor, anchor them. Um, and then let's play with some kind of rapid fire. Okay. Treat. You want to come over here, Henry? Come here. What's it? Henry, what's this? Henry, what's this? <laughs> As usual, they <laughs> sit where you don't want out. to, right? Yeah. yeah. Come over here. What's it? Oh, it's a good little girl. Go away. Go away. Catch it. Oh, it's a good catch. Oh. Oh, it's a good catch. Oh, you got it. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. That's a good one. I'm not a very good thrower. Sit. Good catch. Nice. Can you give me pause? Anyway, can you give me a shake. Can I have a shake? Oh, yeah, that's a good fella. <laughs> yeah, that's a good boy. 
That's a good boy. <laughs> oh, this has okay, been so Henry. much fun, and I'm glad okay, Henry got in on the action. Yeah, hey, Henry. <laughs> you come up here. Hi, Henry. Come on up here. Come on. Ah. Are you sure to see it? <laughs> Henry's a good name. Henry's a good name. <laughs> Uh, Hank, Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be so famous. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes, we're so excited. Not? I'm not helping the excitement on because yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. I know. You're going to chill out. I'm not the excitement. I'm being a bad interviewer. Yeah, no, uh, well, this has been fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much for your wisdom, the grand tour, sharing Henry with us. I'm excited to share this model with other yeah, people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and have them come uh, follow your journey too on all your socials. I, yep. I love the success you've had already, even without a website. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. all, you know, networking and just kind of, if you have your heart in, in something and people feed off of that. And, you know, if you're a pet photographer, you've got to love, you know, animals, right? So, yeah. and um, other animal or animal lovers just kind of kind of connect with that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been really fun meeting new people and yourself included. And thanks for kind of sharing your your experiences as well. Yeah, so, I'm glad we finally yeah. got a chance to meet up. Yes. Yay! High five. High five. <laughs> all right. So I hope you all really really enjoyed this. If you did, of course, you can high five the like button <laughs> yes. here on YouTube, and I'll link all of his information in the description too. So go follow him and all of his amazing photos. You're going to look at it and go, he did that at, in someone's front yard, it in their be, trailer, like at their house. Like, yeah, it can be done. How cool is that? How cool is I love that? It. All right. Well, thank you so oh, much. All right, yeah. He is the dog treat catching <laughs> king. Chick. It's a good chick. He says, I'm a good boy as long as you've got food or a ball. Do you see your ball? Oh, I love it when my yeah. GoPros get dog prints. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Wow.